What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here back from All Things Sports with a new episode of All Things Racing. It's been a while, but we are back with round four. China, let's continue my team mode, my career, and let's get into round four. So, pretty decent results in the first three. We had Australia, then Bahrain, and Vietnam, I believe, in round three. I was really happy with the results. We got a win in two of the three, I believe. Australia, I blew it. On the fourth lap, I blew it. But I was really happy with the result in Vietnam. That one's a tough circuit, and it was in the rain. And now we are back with China in round four. So the Chinese Grand Prix. So I have a few updates waiting around. Let's see what is going on with the activities here. Invitational event. Um, let's put some time into three days. Let's do some chassis development here. We will do some sponsor event. Let's do this. And then here. Let's do some sim training. Cool. So we'll use up all that time. That'll be good. No new messages. Let's advance time. We go through here. Some R&D going on. As we continue to increase our acclaim, more potential partners become willing to work with us. We can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate... Uh, all right, let's go to the invitational. Something extra for this video. So an invitational, it's a race. This is the first time I do this in my career mode here, my team mode. I'm a rolling start, race around the track to cover the target distance before time runs out. Additional time is added to your limit with each checkpoint. Okay. I've, I've done one of these once before. You kind of go... Ooh, it's one of the 2010 Red Bulls. You get a different sound in the engine, you can hear that. Oh, it's a different, yeah, these are back to those different sounding engines. That's when Formula One really sounded good. The new cars don't sound nearly as good as those screaming V10s. That was good. Carried a nice bit of speed through there. Oh, that's not very good. I'm gonna lose some time there, that's not good. Another checkpoint. Plus 12 seconds. Distance. Target. I'm trying to get 7.8 clicks. I'm about halfway. Another checkpoint. The challenging thing is, as obviously the time windows down, I think the check part. Ooh! The checkpoints become a little more spaced out. And in order to save the time. You really need to have a solid racing line and stay with it every lap. You need to be consistent enough that you, you know, that tenth of a second that you save on lap one turns into three tenths of a second that you save on lap two, for example. And that's not very good. <laughs> the last few laps have been a little wild here. Okay, I have 30 seconds on the clock and I still have... Another kilometer to go. 26, 25. Here's another one. Okay, 10 seconds. I think I'll do it. 300 meters. 
200 meters. Well, that's good. I've passed the distance. Now it's about trying to stay out as long as you possibly can. But you can see how the clock, obviously, I don't get as much time added on now, either. 10 seconds. That's good. Uh, let's go as far as we can. I need another checkpoint. Here we go. Ah! Done. Alright, that's pretty good though. I fulfilled it, I passed it. That's fun driving one of those 2010 cars compared to the the cars we're driving obviously with all things racing so that was good nice little accomplishment there we're going back to the team headquarters all right here we go as usual practice we'll start with a few laps try to get to know the track get back to the the feel of the car then we'll skip over to qualifying and finish with the race oh boy Again, we'll take it easy just to get a feel for everything again. You can hear the difference right away, right, between the twenty twenty the twenty ten, excuse me, Red Bull and these cars. The sound is just it's not even close. This one's so muffled. I mean obviously it's partly to do with the the engine itself, the you know, they create they create different sounds. V six is compared to V10s. Okay, concentrate. Here we go. Need to get a feel. This one's bumpy, man. I find this one really bumpy. Okay. Get a feel for the the track. Hit the apex there. That was good. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. That's not good. Okay, so there's a DRS zone. Obviously with the straight and then brake hard into here. And we're back to the start finish with DRS zone 2. Jesus, it's bumpy. That's quite the technical turn there. I'm going to have to practice this because I'm wide on everything. Jesus. There's a lot of these like sweeping Oh god. There I can really I can be aggressive through that turn. Now we're gonna have a big left hander into that sweeping right that I can take at not really flat out, but feather the throttle into flat out here. DRS zone one coming up at the line. And then you could hear, look how bumpy it is. Hard right hander here, brake. That was too early. And then another one. 
coming up here, DRS zone. This turn, man. This one. Okay. I gotta try and stay closer to the inside on those ones. Right out of the start finish. That was better. Okay, I'm done. Mm -mm. You're already done the hard part. Yes, obviously, the first few corners. Remember, you don't have a hand off. Hitting the apex of two. How much of time we gain? Yeah, and that's what I was doing. I was running wide. Um, okay, let's go. Qualifying. One lap. Let's go. That lost time already. Ah, the beginning's hard, man. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's gonna cost me. Break, 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 break. Ay, ay, ay. Was the best I've taken that turn. Seventh. Ah. All right. You lose it right at the beginning. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Who's your main competition on the grid? It's got to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid. Great. Well, that's everything. After the points finish. 
Race four, Chinese Grand Prix. Lights out. Wow. Now don't blow anything. I gotta be able to carry some speed through there better. Now this turn's always tough. It's like it comes up on you fast. I've, I'm always wide. Look how bumpy it is. few turns at the beginning are so challenging. That was good. balance there of how much throttle, how much speed can you hold, overtake, stay on this side, I find it way less bumpy, and we'll smooth back over, brake into here, carry some speed, that wasn't very good that turn, and now here's the one I always blow it, brake into it, there, that was better. Lucky that there's nothing there. Oh no, he's gaining, he's gaining, he's gaining. Break. Oh 
no. Wow, shot. How did I have my best three sectors there? I didn't have the fastest lap though. Two tenths of a second lead. I need some good corners. That was good. I gained almost half a second there. Find that balance here. Let it go. Yeah, that's good. Later on the brakes. Ooh, whose carbon was that? I think it was his. Running out of fuel. <sighs> I'm lucky there, I had the inside because I blew it. Come on. Come on, at least get second. No! Ah, that was tough. Ah, oh, man. Not very smooth. A few mistakes. Ah, and they just got me at the line. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? I wasn't sticking to the track. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Do you have any comments about the collisions? Great, 
Well, that's everything. Well. Rivalry breakdown. Ah, well, there it is. Round four in the books. We're headed back to headquarters, and that's it for this episode of All Things Racing. Not very smooth, tough circuit, if I'm honest. Kind of blew it at the end, but I'll take fourth, and I'm still in the championship race, and that's it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a comment. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports with the All Things Racing series. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.